Okay, you guys, so today's video, I'm in the same outfit. I'm going ahead and knock them all out at once. I'm going to show you guys an in depth tutorial and show you exactly how we go through buys and what they look for. So, if you're wanting to know how Play Doh Claw detect their things and what they do in order to achieve if they're going to take your items or not, then just keep on watching. Don't mind my candle. But, okay, so this is the first item. And this is a jacket. So, we'll take a look at this jacket. The jacket is in pretty good condition. We'll lay it out just like this. Take a look at it. Jacket is in pretty good condition. It has a little pocket, so it should be fine. It has a little, you don't have a zipper, but it has these little elastic things, so whatever. Then we look right here. Is there any dirt on the neck? Is there any dirt on the neck? No. Is there any dirt on this at all? Does it show any signs of wear? No. Does this show any signs of wear? Dirt, anything? Holes? No. So everything looks clean, everything looks good. We fold it just like this. I did on impulse, I'm so used to it. Fold it just like this so you can make sure you see every angle. Nothing on this side. Do the exact same stuff on this side. Is there anything on this side? No. Fold it. Is there anything on this side? No. So then, fold it one more time. Anything on this side? No. Anything on that side? No. So, it's like a style we will take. Boom. We will buy this jacket. Next, I have this top. Somebody wants to sell it. Can we take this? Looking at it, it looks pretty cute, but uh-oh, it's a peplum top. And a lot of people don't buy peplum anymore. So if you see the ridges right here at the bottom, you can barely see it on this camera. It's not really picking it up because it's not like bought out like peplum, but it has a little peplum like cut right here where it shows it's supposed to be like pooped out at the bottom. Nobody really buys peplum anymore. So, we probably wouldn't take this because it's not in style. So this tank top. Tank top is in good condition, no signs of wear. It's a plain tank top, so it could be in style. It's a plain tank top. And it has that little nerdy edgy feel that a lot of people are wearing right now. So based on that, we would take this tank top. No holes, no signs of wear, everything looks straight. So we would take this tank top. Sure. Basic T, probably from Forever 21 or H&M. Basic T, not that many signs of wear. It has a little pokles on there. And pokles are basically, you can barely see it, but like when lint, like when you could like pluck lint off, like when you poke, like pinch the little balls or whatever that be on your shirts, those are um, pokles. So he has a very little bit, but not that much. Just normal wear, light wear. So based on that, and it's a cute shirt, we would take this tank top. They're not Pacific brand. They look good, no signs of wear. And what we do, let me bring it all the way up. We look at it. So the best thing to do is just follow your hand with your eyes. Just look and bring it on down till you see anything. Flip it and look the same way. Look it all the way down here. Flip it. See the same thing. No dirt, no dirt. This side is clear. Fold it. No signs of dirt. No signs of dirt no signs of holes or anything. So now, does that pass the test? We look in the inside. Does it have stains in the crotch? So we look right here. Is it stains in the inside? No. So since there isn't, it passed that test. Now, let's check the pockets. Let's check the zipper. Fold the zipper, close it, make sure that this Part of the zipper, the handle is down and flat and pull on it. Make sure that the zipper does not move. So, it's 
good zipper cute jeans in style so we will take these jeans here's a Hollister brand this is the actual brand of jeans now we're going to check these out the distress is still there there's no sign of wear like these becoming holes the distress that's supposed to be there is still there no signs of dirt again we're going to flip it see how the pants are they're clean free from dirt free from stains free from odors same way on this side look at the back same way same way the stress still there it's still there so do the same thing going inside looking inside the crotch area it's clean the zipper check it's good we will take these jeans have a dress the dress still have its tag on it it's from charlotte ruth this dress is cute it's in style it's a casual clubby outfit you know we know for a fact by looking at this dress it would sell because it has the v-neck because it has like the v-neck line so we could tell that this is an item that will most definitely sell. It has no signs of stains on it, both sides. Also, we also check up on the arms as well. And I forgot to mention that on the previous ones as well for the t-shirts. You check up on the arms to make sure that there is no like darker stain. Cause typically if you wear a t-shirt or something long, like a long, long time, it starts to get very worn up under the arms. So we check that as well. So. It's not dirty up under the arms or anything. So we would definitely take this dress. This next dress. This dress is a little bit dressy. Now this one it comes tricky because typically we only casual wear, gently used teen and young adult casual wear only. So for the fact that this is dressy, depends on if your managers or your owner will wanna take this in their discretion. Typically some places may still take this but technically it is considered a dressier outfit. So they may take this and they may not. It just depends on that Plato's Closet and their guidelines. Got a pair of boots, these shoes. They're in good condition. I don't see any signs of chipping or anything. Nowhere on the shoe, no signs of wear right here where you can see. No signs of wear anywhere. They look pretty good. No signs of wear right here. At the bottom, no signs of wear right here. No signs of wear chipping right here, right here. Look on the back, none, none. Then at the toe, so we're good. Now let's check and make sure the zipper works. And the zipper goes all the way up, the zipper goes all the way down. So you do it one more time, just make sure. So yes, this shoe is a good shoe. So we will take, we will take this boot. This shoe, Converse, really nice shoe. It's not picking it up that much on camera, but it is a little bit dirty. You can't really see it on camera, but it is a little bit dirty and it shows a little dark spots on here as well. So even though you can tell that this is a very, very nice shoe, what we would do in this situation, we would let the customer know that this shoe is in great condition. This is a really nice shoe, but if you would like to go home and clean this up, make sure you remove all the signs of dirt from this shoe, we will most definitely take this shoe because it's still in good quality, it's just a little bit dirty. So all they would have to do is clean it, bring it back, and we'll be glad to take it. Okay, so yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys found that informative. Hopefully now a lot of you guys won't have those mixed questions about what playoff closet takes or anything like that because I'm trying to help you guys get the information the best way possible because um, a lot of times they don't let you know the inside scoop. I don't work there no more, so whatever, I don't care. <laughs>
so yeah and at that time i really wish i could tell customers the thing that i'm telling you now but you know they can't so because they don't want to seem rude but i don't work there no more so i have no reason not to be hope you guys found this video informative if you did please give this video a big thumbs up let's get this video to 100 likes yeah so yep that is it for this video also make sure you follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter at whitley janae i will leave that somewhere down here and also make sure you guys subscribe to this channel so you receive more updates on when i upload more videos and that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in my next one next wednesday